This video is going to demonstrate the um, beginning setup um, of the Excuse Me shawl. So I have my, the purple is my dark color yarn and the blue is my light color for the purposes of this pattern. So I'm going to start by making a slip knot with my dark color yarn. And then to do the two color cast on, the slip knot counts as the first stitch. And I'm going to do the first stitch, the next stitch that I cast on, I will knit into that first stitch, but pull through a loop with my blue yarn and then slide it back on to the left hand needle. And now I have two stitches, one purple and one blue. And then I'm going to do like a cable cast on and knit not into the blue stitch, but into the space between those two stitches. And this time I will use the purple yarn to pull up a new loop and slide it back onto the needle. So now I have three stitches. And then I'm going to continue doing that alternating colors, knitting into the space between the two previous needles my double pointed needle here is really uh, curled up. Okay, so a blue one, a purple one. I'm going to make sure that I'm actually using my working yarn and not the yarn tails. Purple, blue, whoops, blue, and purple. And so then I, now I have nine stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine in alternating colors. So then for the first setup row, I'm going to work the dark color first. And I will knit the first stitch, whoops, knit the first purple stitch, and then the blue stitch I'm going to, I'm going to move the working yarn to the front, slip the blue stitch and do a yarn over at the same time, knit, bring yarn to the front, and slip one with a yarn over. Knit, slip one with a yarn over, knit, slip with the yarn over, and knit again. Okay, and then I'm going to slide my stitches to the other end of the needle to work across that row with the light color, with the blue. Um, and since it's the, the light color, we'll always start with just slipping the um, first main color stitch. And then I need to um, bring the yarn to the front and then I'm going to do a brioche purl where I knit the um, stitch together with its yarn over and then slip with the yarn over, brioche purl, slip with the yarn over and I essentially at this point have it all set up for regular brioche, two color brioche ribbing. So after I do the last brioche purl, I will drop the yarn in front and just slip the last stitch. And then I'm going to turn the work to work row two. And now the purple is purling and slip and then a brioche purl slip with the yarn over brioche purl, slip with the yarn over, and then just a plain purl on the last stitch. And then I will slide the stitches to the other end to work the light color, slip the first stitch, and now I'm knitting with the blue. So I'm going to do a brioche knit, slip with the yarn over, brioche knit, slip yarn over, knit, slip, knit, and then drop the yarn and back and just slip the last stitch. And then I need to do two more rows, just like that, 
rows three and four. So knit, slip, knit, That's row three with the dark color or main color. Whoops. And then with the light color, again, slip the first stitch, brioche pearl, slip the yarn over. Alternate those two, do the last brioche purl, and then drop the yarn and just slip the first stitch. And now I'm on row four. As always, working the main color or dark color first. And then slide the stitches to the other end to work the light color. Slip the first stitch, brioche knit, slip with the yarn over. And after the last brioche knit, drop the blue yarn and slip the purple yarn, the last purple stitch just on its own. Okay, untangle my yarn a little bit. And now um, I am going to do row the, just the dark color part of row one once. So knit, slip with yarn over, brioche knit, slip with yarn over, brioche knit, slip with yarn over. Okay. And then when I get to the end of this, now it's time to pick up stitches. And I'm gonna be picking up stitches along the short edge of this rectangle and then along the cast end on end. So it's gonna be like a little U of stitches around this small um, rectangle. So the first thing that I need to do is pick up three stitches in the selvage end um, and it gets a little bit sort of tight working around the corners here, and you could use a crochet hook um, to pull the stitches through and then just slide them onto your needle. Um, okay, so that's one, two, three on the short end, and you can see it's starting to kind of bunch up. And then I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cast on stitches. And I'm gonna pick up one stitch in each of those. So alternating the, um, the colors, but we're doing all the picking up with the main color. So through a purple stitch, two, three, four, and again, you could use a crochet hook for this, five, and you can see, again, it's getting really bunched up here. That's okay. Six, seven, Whoops. Wow, this one is giving me a hard time. <laughs> um, eight, okay, I've got one more to pick up here. Nine, okay. And it's a little bit hard to count the stitches. You should have 21, but they're so bunched up, it can be hard to see. Just keep in mind that um, in brioche where you have a stitch with a yarn over, that counts as a single stitch. Um, okay, after you've done the picking up, then you're gonna slide the stitches down to the other end of your needle. 
and you can actually see if you if you put them here you could count this way if you put them sort of over a curve in your needle you can see the shape a little bit better so i have one and this is a stitch with the yarn over so that's two three four five six seven eight and then all the rest of them are going to be single stitches 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 perfect so now i'm going to work this row with the light color um and as always i'm just slipping the first stitch and then i'm going to do a brioche pearl, slip one yarn over, and I'm going to do that four times. So there's two, three, four, and then I'm going to keep going in this pattern, but there won't be any more brioche purling because there are no more yarn overs. So where I was doing a brioche pearl before, I'm just going to do a plain pearl and then slip with the yarn over, purl, slip with, whoops, slip with the yarn over, purl, slip, purl, slip, purl, slip, purl, drop the yarn in front, and then as usual, just slip that last purple stitch. Okay, and then, um, that was where on the instructions it says next row right side light color. Now we're on the next row right side dark color, which is sort of two below where the pickup stitches were. Um, and this is going to be just like setup row four. So purl the first stitch that to slide off the needle and then slip with the yarn over brioche pearl slip with the yarn over and we're going to do that all the way across we just have more stitches now than we did on setup row four but the pattern remains the same and purl the last stitch, and then slide the stitches down to the other end of the needle to work the light color. So slip the first stitch, brioche knit, slip with the yarn over, brioche knit, and alternate those two again all the way down. And this one is just like the setup row four light color, but again, with more stitches. Whoops. Brioche knit, slip with the yarn over the last brioche knit, and then just slip the last stitch. Okay, and now, um, we're going to pick up stitches and now is the point where you're going to need some stitch markers, three of them. Um, so we're on a right side dark color. So we start with a knit one, slip one yarn over, and then I'm going to do a brioche knit one, slip one yarn over three times. So that was one, two and three and then place a marker um, and then you do an increase the brioche knit one and then without sliding the stitch off the left hand needle you're going to do a yarn over and then knit back into that same stitch again so that's that um brioche knit yarn over brioche knit increase. Um, and so you just have three stitches knit into the same stitch. 
and then you're going to slip one yarn over and do that same increase again. So a knit a yarn over and a knit all into the same stitch. Place another marker. Slip one yarn over. And then do um oh my goodness, I lost where I am. Yes, okay, place marker, slip one yarn over, brioche it one three times. No. Sorry, I totally lost my spot. Oh, place marker. I was supposed to do another increase into this stitch. Yes, and then place marker and then slip one brioche knit three times or slip one with yarn over two three and then slip one yarn over and knit the last one okay great now the one thing that's slightly funny about the instructions is that it doesn't tell you how to deal with the increases when you do the light color after you've done the increases. So you slide your stitches to the other end of the needle to work the light color, and you're gonna start out just like normal. Slip the first stitch, do a brioche purl, slip with the yarn over, brioche purl, slip with the yarn over. And the idea is that you just wanna keep your pattern consistent so I just did a brioche purl, then I'm slipping the marker. I'm gonna do a slip one with a yarn over on the next stitch. And then I don't have a yarn over, so I'm just gonna do a plain purl on that middle stitch of the increase, and then slip with the yarn over, and then I'm back to a brioche purl. And then I have another increase, and again, slip with the yarn over, plain purl, slip with the yarn over, and slip my marker. And then I've got a brioche purl, and then slip with the yarn over, another increase, so it's another plain purl, slip with the yarn over, brioche purl, um, and finish up to the end. And that's it. Then you'll work your wrong side rows. Um, just like set up row four and then you'll be ready for section one and you'll just do increases um, as you go along at the markers just like we did.